Natana Kileto is home alone, busy with household chores expected of a stay-at-home Maasai woman. Her children, both boys and girls, are away at the university and others in high school. One girl is married. Her dream of having her children who have gone to school has come to pass. You see, Natana did not go to school. She got married while a child at only 11 years old. Her husband was then 25 years old. Nano, na when I got married, I was only 11 years old. I was so scared, I thought I was to marry the best man who was far too old. Now at 50, she remembers the pain and her confusion at that time. When you get married young and you get pregnant, they place for you a bucket when you're giving birth so that you don't hurt the baby. I didn't know how to take care of my baby. Another woman took my child to care for him. Forty years have passed and Naleto is comfortable with being a wife. The experience made this family aware of the rights of the girl child. Letai has sworn not to subject his daughters to the pain experienced by his wife as a child bride. E, mtoto yangu wa kwanza aliwalewa akiwa na miaka salasini. Eh. Kwa hifo, ata mingine anayofuata hako sahi university. Ata hui wangu wakati nilichukua. Nili Iyo miaka mbili, ata ninakuta akichesa na watoto. <laughs> Uko ije, akichesa tu ile karata. But the situation has not changed much in this area of Rarisula, Ilaramatak, Narok County. 40% of child abuse cases, including early marriage and female genital mutilation in Kenya, are recorded here. 21% of people between the ages of 15 to 49 years have experienced or have been affected by female genital mutilation in Kenya. 18% of boys and 32% of girls have experienced or seen an act of sexual abuse. The soaring numbers have pushed stakeholders to launch the five-year end child marriage campaign targeting to end violations against the girl child. So for we have good prevention measures. How do we put effective prevention measures? Because the legal framework is there. So we put prevention measures and also ensure and raise awareness amongst the communities that all perpetrators should be brought to book. It is important that uh, we support this process as government, together with, us, with other stakeholders, so that we have all the cases handled properly, children go to school. We want the leaders to come from this community. Stakeholders also want the government to increase budget allocations to the children's kitty to be at 25% to raise capacity to handle child violation cases in the country. Agnes Penda, KTN News.